Hello and welcome in this mustard addons element video. Feel free to comment here to ask anything directly to us. So, let me show you the demo page of advanced accordion from our official website. Here is the default demo, then scroll down and it is the multicolor accordion demo variation. You can add multiple color to different detail of accordion just using our feature. Then it is the nested accordion system and then rounded variation, then it is another variation, there is a new variation and it is gradient with spacing variation, gradient variation and icon background variation, then icon rounded variation, then gradient title variation and that is all. And now let us jump into how to work with advanced accordion system with master addons plugin. First of all, let me edit this page, it is the demo page you see it is the demo page and I am going to create a new advanced accordion here. Add this advanced accordion within this demo page, just click on this plus icon and just take a structure with one column and now let us drag our advanced accordion here and that is all it is the default style. You can see here, you can change your toggle icon plus or minus, just add whatever you want. It is the active icon and it is the icon. Okay. You see the active icon is changed and if I click here and you are able to see it is the inactive icon, it is minus. So, if I select this one, then you will be more clear about the icon changement. I am clicking here and then now you see, it is the toggle icon and here is the accordion content. And if you want to change your type, accordion type, then select accordion or toggle. Then here is the HTML text selector, select what you prefer for this title tag h1 from a6 then d base pan and p i prefer to select deep and here you are able to enable or disable toggle icon yeah you see the toggle icon is hidden because i have hide this now if i enable this and you will have it will again appear here and now let's check the content accordion tab title 1 it's the title then your animal tab icon and if you want to make this active as default then just active it as a default yep. now it is active by default here is the icon and and if you have the pro version then you can enable this background color you will see this type of option title color background color content color and content background color so, let me hide this for now and here is the content accordion tab title 1, you can type it and then here is the content part. From content type you are able to select content and then here is the content and that is all the basic setting of content placement and accordion main setting and now let us navigate to our style option go to style and here is style preset, there are 10 preset, select any one of them which you prefer for your website and then start customizing. For example, I prefer style 5, okay, this one and now let us start customizing spacing. So, it is the item spacing, if I put down 20 and you can see the space between item here and if you want border then type solid or uh, one pixel this type of border appeared I do not prefer any border here let us just make it none and then box shadow if you need box shadow then you can enable box shadow here um, color 3 or uh, vertical blur effect and now you already able to see the box shadow here let us Reset it again and then go, go to title, normal, hover and active color. There are three color, normal, hover and active. 
if you use our default style 1, I mean our default preset, then you can easily change the title color content to anything. For example, let me select the background color, it is the title background color, yeah. it is the normal background color and let us change the active background color yeah. and let us change the hover background color. Now, you able to see the changement and it is the main color of, of, of hover, you see white the text color is white because it is set to white. Now, if I change the active, active is white too. Let us just change the normal color to white. Now, you can see the sensement. If I change it to a little dark, okay. now you can see the sensement. If I click, then it is changing. It is active and it is over and it is normal also. You can maintain your icon size here from here too. The icon size is increasing, icon spacing if you want a space, then icon space. Let us work with the typography. Let me set a font here. L A T O let okay. The font is changed and let me put typography sixteen with three hundred okay. Now line here. 1.5 pm and uh, let me decrease the font size 16 and it will be 5 or 15 ok perfect and let us work with the description content here is the description background color if I select a color then the color is applied and uh, let me put uh, another text color here ok white ok this one is perfect now let us work with the typography and then font size will be 15 ok with 300 ok perfect and line height 2 or 1.5 pm that is perfect that is good one ok. This is way you can change entire accordion typography color and everything you need to customize and by this way you can easily customize each and everything of your accordion. For example, I have already showed you how to change the toggle icon and then the main title icon, then the title color, background color, active color, hover color and this all can be done within our style and content area of advanced accordion element. So, I hope you understand how to work with this advanced accordion system and in the next video, I am going to talk about how to work with this nested accordion system. You see the nested accordion system here and I am going to show you especially I am going to make a one video for this business accordion do not forget to check this out.